welcome, welcome in the name of Jesus. This is your host, Dr. Christine Sigi. Welcome you. Thank you for joining once again. This is Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry. I'm going to talk to you the subject. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The subject called the only way to change your destiny. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. You are so good, God. Yes, Lord, I thank you. The only way to change your life is to, is to make a little decision. The only way to change your life is to make a little decision of your destiny. Is to make a little decision of your destiny. Many people, their destiny has been wasted, has been destroyed. That's why I'm coming to you this morning to help you. To stop the enemy that is destroying your destiny. It is, it is you. There is no point to, to, to be old 90, 90 years, 70 years, 60 years to be rich. There is no point to be, to be wasted by witchcraft and wizards and, and occults. And Jesus Christ has power over your life. The only way to change your life is to make a little decision of destiny. Is to make a decision of your destiny. Why are you like this? What is going on? Because the Bible declares, the Bible has given us everything to us. What is going on? What's wrong? You have to decide from your inner heart, from inside. You have to find out why. You, you want to know why. Let us look in the book of, uh, of Genesis 28 verse 15. The book of Genesis 28 verse 15. Yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. The Bible says, And behold, I am with thee, and I will keep thee in all places. Whether thou goest, I will bring thee again unto this land. For I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. And Jacob walked out of his sleep, and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place. And I knew it is not, it is not. And he was afraid and said, How deadly, how deadly is this place? This is none other but the house of God. And this is the gate of heaven. And Jacob rose up early in the morning. And he took the stone that he had put for his pillows and set it up for a pillar and poured oil upon the top of it. And he, he called the name of the place Petel, but the name of the city was called Luz at the first. And Jacob vowed a vow saying, If God will be with me, and I will and keep me in this way that I go, and I will and give me a bread to eat, and a, and a rem, remnant to put on, so that I come again to my father's house in a place. Then shall the Lord be my God, and this stone which I have set for a pillar shall be God's house, and of all that thou shalt give me, I will surely give the tent unto thee. Now here is the man who God promised, who his destiny was going to die. Say, my destiny shall not die. Say, my destiny shall not die. In the name of Jesus. Now the Bible says. The Lord promised that he will be with thee. As he has promised. God has promised you good things. 
God has promised you things to prosper, not to die. Things got good, good report. God has promised you good things. Do you know what God has promised you? Do you know what you have? That is why you really need to change your life. Make a little decision of your destiny. Do you know what you have? If you see, when Jacob realized that this is the house of God, when Jacob was wondering like anybody else, Jacob, was, Jacob worked so hard to get married. Jacob was, what, did it so much. He, he, he did mistakes like anybody, like you and me, with, the, with his mother. When the mother uh, uh, deceived, deceived him and went and steal, the, 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 steal from his brother, but Jacob went and suffered so many years and he realized that my destiny shall not die. I have to change my life. And Jacob said, as long as I know my God has protected me, has helped me, and my destiny shall not die. So, so Jacob decided that his destiny could not die. Don't let the enemy destroy your destiny. Don't let the enemy steal anything from you. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. And let's go to, to Psalms 1, 1, 1, 1, 118. 118. Psalms. Psalms 1, 118. Verse 6. We are going to read verse 6, all of them to verse 27. I want to show you how you can decide to, to maintain your destiny. Your destiny shall not die. No powers of dark, darkness will destroy your destiny. You really, you really need a de decision. You really need a decision of your destiny. The only way to change your life is to make a little decision. Read that, the book of Genesis 28, verse 15 onwards. Read it and it will show you how Jacob decided to maintain his destiny. His destiny was dying. The enemy has planned to destroy his destiny. The mother, I can call her a witch. The mother of Jacob, she was a witch. Because she, she's the one who made Jacob to suffer. You know, you can have a witch mother who give you wrong decision. So, this woman, the mother of Jacob, deceived Jacob and Jacob entered into sin. And Jacob suffered so much until he realized that I would make really a decision of his destiny. So now we are, I'm going to, 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 to show you another man who know how to do spiritual warfare to maintain his destiny. When the enemy wanted to, de, de, to kill his destiny, your destiny shall not die in the name of Jesus. Your destiny shall not die in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. The only way to change your life is to make a little decision of your destiny. Your destiny shall not die in the name of Jesus. You have to make, you, if there's, there's prayers you need to pray, you need to pray prayers that will destroy the enemy, that wants to destroy your destiny. That's how you rescue your destiny. You have to make a little decision of your destiny. You, you cannot live in a circle all the time, round, 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 round. You came to the, to, to overseas, 10 years, 7 years, no paper. What's wrong? This land belongs to your father. You are a child of God. You are a citizen of heaven. So wherever you step is yours. You, enemies that is denying you your rights shall be destroyed in Jesus' name. Enemies that want to destroy your destiny shall be destroyed in Jesus' name. If it is deliverance you want to go, go to deliverance. You do everything you can do to, 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 start, to rescue your destiny. Don't let your destiny to be wasted. It is up to you to decide what you want to do. You came, God gave you, get God gave you a visa. You came to overseas. You came to America, uh, England, uh, uh, Australia, Canada, 
You've been there years and years. No paper. What is wrong? We are destiny. You don't know your call. You don't know your job. You don't know your career. You don't know what you, why you are here in, the, in this world. You are so confused. You don't know what is going on with your life. Instead, you, some of you are afflicted by sickness and diseases. You become a workshop of the devil. The devil is making you a potter field. It's making you workshop. It's using you so much. You became a slave. You work, 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 but you eat like an ant. You work like elephant, but you eat like an ant. It is you to decide the way. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. The only way to change your life is to make a little decision. Your husband is leaving you. Go, go to marry another woman. And you are sitting down. You are watching him to go. He's fighting a case against you. You don't need this. You have power and authority. Your marriage shall not die. Your job shall not die. You are losing your children. Children are taken from you. A mother who has carried the children nine months. You push the children. Now the children is out. They are taken from you. Devil, you are a liar. You are a completely a liar. You have really to, really, really, really to make your way. You really, 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 the only way, hallelujah, the only way to change your life is to make a little, little decision of your destiny. We know that Jesus Christ is alive and God is alive. It's God who can really help you. No human being is only God. When you reach in that point, sometimes you are in a zero point. You don't know what to do. No money. You are zero. You are bankrupt. You are nothing. You don't have anything. You don't know what to do. But Almighty God will deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's look at the Psalms 118. 118 verse 6 to 27. Yes, I want to change down this, 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 this. I want to change this and see how we can do it. Psalms. Psalms 1. Oh, Psalms 1, 1, 18, verse 6. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can a man do unto me? The Lord made my part with them that help me therefore shall i see my desire upon them that hate me it is better to trust in the lord than to put confidence in in, in a man it is better to trust in the lord than to put confidence in a princess all nation compassed me about but in the name of the lord i will destroy them they compassed me about. Yeah, they compassed me about. But in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. They compassed me about like bees. They quenched it as the fire of thorns. For, the, for in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Thou hast trust so at me that I may fall. But the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my song, and is become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord doeth vanity. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord doeth vanity. I shall not die, but live, and declare the words of the Lord. Repeat that, 17. I shall not die. But live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has chastened me sore, but he had not given me over unto death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go unto them and I will press, I will press the Lord. These gates of the Lord unto which the righteous shall enter. I will press the thee, for thou hast 
had me and had become my salvation. The stone which the bearer refused is become the, the ill stone. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father, I thank you. This is the, this, this is, this is, this, this is the Lord is doing in marvelous in our eyes. This is the day, the, the, this is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Save me now, beseech thee, O Lord. Lord, be, I beseech thee, send now prosperity. Blessed be that comes in the name of the Lord. Be he that comes in the name of the Lord has blessed you out of his house of the Lord. Yes, thank you. God is, God is the Lord which has shown us light. Bind the sacrifice with the cards, even unto the horns of the horns of the altar. In the name of Jesus. Thank you very much. You see, Psalms, I want to, to, to show you Psalms. That's Psalms 1, 118. Hallelujah. Blessed, blessed be the name of Jesus. Psalms 1, 1, 118. You see, the, this is the promise. The Bible says, the Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can a man do unto me? The Lord is in your side. What can a man do to you? What can a witch do to you? What can a occult do to you? What can a, a, a sexual power do to you? What power that has been assigned to do to you? The Lord is on your side. That is why you need to lead it to the side of your destiny. If the Lord is with you, who can then be against you? Here is the power that you have been given. Don't let the enemy to destroy your destiny. Don't let the enemy to kill your destiny. Hallelujah. The, the Bible says in, in, first, in, in first, first 10, verse 11, the Bible says, They compassed me about, yeah, they compassed me about, but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. You will destroy them. Who has compassed you? Who are coming against you? In the name of Jesus, you will destroy them. That is why you really make, you need to make a little, little decision of your, your destiny. In the name of Jesus, you will destroy them. God has given you power. Jesus has given you power to destroy them. Verse 12, the Bible says, Psalms 1, 1, 18, verse 12, the Bible says, they compassed me about like bees. You know the bees. The bees are thousands. When they are in one place, they are together thousands, hundreds of them like this. But the Bible says, they compassed me like bees. The enemy comes. There are many, they are not one. The Bible says in Psalms 91, thousands and ten thousand will come from the other side. But in the name of Jesus, I will, I will see them falling down. That is how you will decide your little, 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 little uh, make of your decision. When you, de you decide that the devil would not destroy your destiny, the devil would not touch your blessings, the devil would not hold your husband, the devil would not hold your, your, your wife, then you can do this by free and decide that you will win in Jesus' name. Whether there are thousands and thousands, but the Bible says you will destroy them. Your destiny will not die. You shall not die but live to declare the word of God. You shall not die. This is what the Bible says. Look at verse 17. The Bible says, I shall not die but live and declare the words of the Lord. Your destiny shall not die. You know if you die, your destiny is dead. So your destiny shall not die. God, Jacob, remember, Psalms, remember Genesis 28. Jacob said, I, I will go back. And God, as you will protect me, I will give my tent. Everything of tent I will give to you. So you have to vow to your God. You have to tell God, God Almighty, I have suffered so much. I need my breakthrough. I need this because there is no power in the hell and the pit that will hold my destiny. Because I have now know that God Almighty will take me through. 
God has given you power. You will destroy them. You will destroy them. This is what the Bible says. Even if they are sounding like bees, but you will destroy them. Don't let your enemy to destroy your destiny. Don't let your enemy to take away your children, you take away your husband, take away your, your, your jobs. You remain crying and suffering. Don't let the witches to put sickness on you. Don't let anything come against you. You have powers and authority. That's why I was teaching you yesterday, I was talking about dreams. And I think I will continue with that because I need to finish all interpretation. I didn't even talk about the interpretation of the dreams. I have not talked about the sources of the dreams. Therefore, the, the, there are some things that you need to know. Therefore, people of God, you make a little decision. It is you. If you want the devil to sit on you, if you want the devil to control you, the devil is there to control you. But in the name of Jesus Christ, Jesus has given you power. Remember Luke 10 verse 19, the power that you have been given. You've been given a uh, gun, you have been given a bomb, you have been given a gun. You have a gun in your hand. In the name of Jesus, you will destroy them. Your destiny will not be wasted. You have to sit down and decide. Anybody destroying your destiny, let the ground open and die. You know, Moses, when he saw that the, the, the children of Israel, they want to destroy his destiny, what he did, he prayed and the ground opened and those people swallowed. This is dead and alive. You don't have to joke with the enemy that wants to destroy your destiny. You would say, my destiny shall not die in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I thank you, Father. God, you are a mighty God. God is omnipotent. science. God is so powerful than any, any gauge, than any sword that you know. The word of God is so powerful that it will enter into the heart of the enemy and destroy them. My destiny shall not die. Say, my destiny shall not die in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. You see this book, it is a very good book. It has given you all the weapon. This is the, the weapon that he has given you. Now you tell the devil, you read to the devil this. You say, you say like this, I shall not die, but live to declare the word of God. Now the Bible says, the, these gates of the Lord and with the righteous shall enter. I will praise thee for thou hast had me and had become my salvation. Now here you say, this is the day which the Lord had made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It does not say this is the day the Lord has made to cry and, and mourn and beat yourself. It is the day that the Lord has made you will be rejoiced and be glad in it. Your destiny, will, you will rejoice with your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be the name of Jesus. The Lord says, verse 27, God is the God which had sword as light and bind the sacrifice with cords, even unto the horns of the altar. They had my God, and I will bless thee. Thou art my God, I will exalt thee. That is God. This is the word of God. First, let's look at first, first 15, 25 and verse 15. Verse 25 and 26, the Bible says, So now, be I beseech thee, O Lord, Lord, I beseech thee, send now prosperity. Let God send now prosperity. Let God send now prosperity. In the mighty name of Jesus, let God send now prosperity. Prosperity in the hands of the enemy. Come out in the name of Jesus. Say, my prosperity in the hands of the, on, of, of the enemy. Come out in the name of Jesus. My prosperity in the hand of the enemy. Come out in the name of Jesus. Where your prosperity is being held in the condom, in the coven of witchcraft, in the hands of wicked people, in the hands of occult, let, let it come out in Jesus' name. Do you know that the occult, they have powers, the demon, when those people working in the, in the dark, the kingdom of darkness, they have power. To transfer your wealthy and take it to someone else. So you command them, my wealthy, in the hands of this occult, in the hands of the kingdom of darkness, jump out, jump out in the name of Jesus. You command them like this. I pray that God Almighty will deliver you. This is the word of God which says, 
Send now prosperity. Let the prosperity come in the name of Jesus. Let the wealth fall upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father and my God, I pray, Lord, to remove your name from evil wrist by the blood of Jesus. You know the, the, the enemy, the, 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 the cult people, witchcraft, evil people, they have risk, they have the people to target. If they are monitoring you to target you, they will target you to, until they bring you down. So, command them in the name of Jesus. I command you, cult person, holding my name, holding me, monitoring me, die in the name of Jesus. Anyone who is holding my prosperity, in the kingdom of darkness, I command you to die. Let my prosperity jump out in the name of Jesus Christ. Command evil, every evil night vision. Command them to chain them down. Every night, every evil night vision. You need to dream a good vision. But you, it was night evil vision. Command them to fall down and die in Jesus' name. Every demonic personality following you around, command them to be arrested. You know they are evil, demonic personality following you around, marking you, monitoring you. They want to come, even they are sent to churches. And they know the weak people. They know the people they target. Call the fire of God to burn down every evil, every demonic personality following you around anything you are doing. Call the fire. Fire of God to burn them down in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Cast every spirit in your soul that is following you. Command it turn down the fire of God to destroy the enemy of your destiny. The enemy that wants to destroy your destiny, call the fire and the turn of God. Look at this Bible. The Bible has given you power. He has said, in the name of Jesus, I will destroy them. Look at that, Psalms 118, verse, verse 11, 12. They even says, even if there are thousands of thousands, you will destroy them. The word of God, just one word of God. One day, occult person was chanting on me, was, was seriously praying and fasting and speaking evil against me. I, I saw this person in the spirit, and I called thunder. The thunder strike. I saw thunder strike. Sure, they strike. I'm telling you, these people who are who are assigned by the powers of of, of darkness, who called people, eliminate. They will testify you if they touch a true child of God. The thunder will strike them. The 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 right they see they have never seen that right. So the people of God, the Bible said, you shall not fear. Look at verse six. The Bible says. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can a man do to me? The Lord is on your side. You shall not fear. The enemy that wants to destroy your destiny. You shall not fear that person. It is your decision. Of you have made over your, de your, 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 your destiny. Therefore, any personality, any human being that is following you to destroy your destiny shall die in the name of Jesus. My God, my Father, I want to thank you, God. I want to honor you, my God. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are a good God. I love you because you are a mighty God. You are a God of God and King of glory. In the name of Jesus, I break and loose. I break and loose every manipulation and the controlling of demonic, spiritual, white garment church. In the name of Jesus Christ, you command them, I break them. I break them and I destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, I want to thank you, Jesus. Lord Almighty, break them and loose them in Jesus' name. I break and loose. Pray this prayer point. Those who can write, you can write them. Pray like this. I break and loose myself from every manipulation and the control of demonic, spiritual, and the white garment church, white garment evil white government, white all, all evil church, Pentecostal church, witchcraft church, Pentecostal witchcraft church. You know there are, there are some Pentecostal witchcraft church. Those people, they call themselves Pentecostal, but they are witchcraft. You come against them. Let me repeat again. 
I break and lose myself from every manipulation and the control of demonic, spiritual, and the satanic church in the name of Jesus. If you have entered in satanic church or you have followed the occult person or a false prophet or evil prophet, this is the prayer that will deliver you. Some of you, you don't know because you are looking for help. So you can, you can enter to evil people who can destroy, who can destroy your, your destiny. That's why I want you to pray this prayer. I break and lose myself from every manipulation and the control of demonic spiritual church or spiritual prophets, demon prophets. You pray like that. You pray that this prayer will deliver you. GK, you need this prayer. Write it down. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. My God and my Father, I want to thank you, God. I want to give you the glory, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are wonderful. Wonderful God, I thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for, the, for their people, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I destroy every power that wants to destroy the destiny of these people. I commit them to you, Lord. I commit this, the, 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 your people into your hand. In the mighty name of Jesus, every power of darkness following your people, I destroy them in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my heavenly Father, I come before your presence, Lord. I pray, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, I pray that protect your people. Protect your people. Yes. If you are anybody who are doing that, witchcraft is, is nothing. Call me, I will deal with them. I will deal with them. Don't worry about them. But because the Bible has declared them. Father, I thank you, Lord. I command every witches and wizards to be destroyed according to your word, God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you. I give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. I praise God for you. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, we have our website. This is our website is Overcomers DH Ministries.blogspot.ca WW Overcomers dh ministry.blogspot.ca we have uh, uh, phone we have cell phone we have landline we have free line if you need prayers call us call me i will pray with you email to me those people i have your email i need to send you a book the computer was giving me trouble so i will try to send you today that's good, my sister, Devora. Thank you very much. God bless you. Our number is 877-241-2444. Uh, uh, Devora, my sister, write it down for the people to see. Extension 101. That is free number. You can call that number. You call, you get, you, 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 you enter extension 101. Another number direct that I pick, 905-487-7196. This is the number, direct number. If you want to call me direct number, you are welcome. Or if you want to text me, you want to send text message, cell phone. Our cell phone is 647 this is our cell phone. This is ministry cell phone. And I am the one who is having, holding. The only number I don't take care is that free line because there are other people who are there. But the rest, I am here. All my secretary will hold this, the other one, 905. Sometimes you find my secretary, she will, she will pick up the phone and she will, she will deliver, she will, she will give me the message. But the cell phone is me, is with me in my hand. Therefore, if you call me, I will answer your phone and uh, you, you, I will pray with you. Share these videos with your, your friends, with your followers. Share and God will bless you so much. I will have a lot of prayers. We, we, we will have our anniversary 21st of May. So if you want to come to Canada, you want to come and celebrate with us, let us know. Uh, the flyer is going to come up soon and uh, we will be celebrating. 
and it's the same time my birthday anniversary will be the same time my birthday my birthday will be 20th so we shall celebrate together on 21st so my birthday those who loves me you need to send me a gift yes <laughs> My birthday is coming, 20th of May, right down. And I'm going to give you my, my address and I need a card, I need a flower. Send me flower. <laughs> I am your mother. I am your spiritual mother. Therefore, as you take care of me, I will also take, take care of you. Thank you very much. God bless you. I have to stop here and see you uh, tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock. If I come other time, thank you. God bless you. Don't call me. I'm, I'm still in the ministry. Don't call me, please. Stop calling me. Thank you very much. God bless you. Bye.